Hey YouTube, welcome to TCTN, the crazy troll nation of YouTube. The crazy because I just spent some time to troll because like right now, I look like a freaking troll. I look like a cute troll later after I do my base face, but still a troll nonetheless. I'm only doing a base face because I have a Zoom later today in about three hours. And so I thought, let me just do my base face. And also I have a small haul video. I'm trying to do my concoction right now, which is why I'm looking down. I have a small haul that I wanted to show you and I think this is almost empty because it's not really pumping out and it's not clogged but anyway I was just going to do the small haul video and then I'm like okay my face is looking really trollish and <laughs> I was going to wear my glasses to camouflage my under eye area but then I'm like my glasses help me see distance and so I wouldn't have been really able to read <laughs> what I was showing you so I'm just like you know what let me just do a base face so I'm going to put the Fenty primer underneath my eye and I'm going to put on the Sephora bright future gel serum concealer on and my concoction of primer foundation and beauty oil and then I'm going to set that with translucent powder underneath my eyes and lightly over my face and then with the Fenty setting powder honey on my face and nutmeg on the perimeter of my face and if I don't forget which I'll pull it out now so I won't the elf putty blush in Maldives is going to be on my cheeks and so I'm just going to speed through all of that I realized the other day when I was looking through previous videos when I was doing my face I really like seeing the transformation and so I'm like I need to go back and just watch my own videos <laughs> just to see the slight difference it makes or just how it makes me more even and, and a little more polished without without looking overly done and so i'm going to stop talking now so i can breeze through or it'll look like a breeze through to you guys so we can get on to the haul Okay, so two things. Can we say cross-contamination? <laughs> Instead of using the e.l.f. putty blush brush, <laughs> I use the brush I use for foundation, which is the Rare Beauty. It does not have a number or a name. I believe this is the foundation brush that people were saying they liked it better for concealer. And I'm trying to still get a feel for if I like it or not because it is so dense and it's difficult to clean which makes me not like it so I did use it for foundation today and I said you know what let me see how the putty blush applies with a dense brush and I lightly dabbed it because my dives is a deeper color and it does turn dark really fast on me but just lightly dabbing it and putting it on I think it looks really good and so for me, I just have to just really be light handed. This side to me looks darker and I don't know if it's the lighting. So I'm going to go in and just do a slight press and wiggle. And lightly, I am like very, very lightly dabbing it on, stippling it on. And then this is how I blended it out. I do think maybe having residual foundation on a brush helps it not to have harsh lines. And I do actually like this look. And for me, this was easier than using the putty blush brush. However, as I said, the cross contamination. So if I continue to do it this way, I may just scoop some out with the spatula onto the palette and then dip the brush into that instead of into the actual container. Creates a little more work, yes. And then I will probably be wasting product because there'll be leftover product on the palette. I'm babbling. So let's get back to the video. So what I purchased was, let me back up. I was waiting for the Sephora Rogue Cell Rouge Cell, however you particularly pronounce that word, to purchase another Fenty Brow MVP and another Fenty Mascara. While I'm waiting for that sale, 
Today is March 28th. This will probably be uploaded in May. April something at the earliest. I got an email from Fenty that they were having a 25% off or 30% off or something. And so I said, well, that's a better discount than Sephora's sale. So, so for the brow MVP and the mascara would have been $44. They had a special going on that for $54, <laughs> you got a bundle. So I'm thinking like, okay, am I going to use all of this stuff? And then I said, well, for the price, even if I don't use it, I can give it away. And a couple of the items, I wasn't sure how I felt about them before when they initially came out. Excuse me. And so anyway, the mascara, and because I'm black, which I definitely do like and use, another brow MVP and soft black i recently used up one and i do already have a backup and so i'm like it's a sale coming let me get another one now keep in mind all these products i'm showing you from fenty was in a bundle for 54 dollars 75 just these two alone would have been 44 dollars. so for 54 dollars, <laughs> you get a snap shadow a pencil liner a liquid liner a mascara and a brow product which is ten dollars cheaper than just buying the brow product and the mascara so i'm like how could i not just get these other items in a bundle from pensies.com i shop on there for spices they had a sale um, not too long ago for a 50 dollars gift card it was 30 dollars so I bought a $50 gift card for $30. <laughs> and meanwhile, I kept getting emails. This spice is on sale for the next three days for a dollar. This one is buy one, get one free. Buy one, get one half off. And I was just bombarded with all of these emails. And what got me was Justice was on sale. And I use this for almost everything. Because it has in here shallots, garlic, onion, green peppercorn, chives, and green onion. I use this on fish, I use it on poultry, I use it on beef, I use it on my pork ribs, <laughs> I use it for burgers, I use this in everything. I even used this when I made tuna macaroni salad the other day. And so I purchased two of them because I use it for everything. And so I use it up pretty quickly. I purchased freeze dried shallots and this is what that looks like inside the container. I purchased a mini Vietnamese cinnamon because sometimes I put cinnamon in my oatmeal. I purchased granulated garlic powder. Even though the Justice has garlic and onion and shallots in it, I still usually put a little more garlic and a little more onion or shallots on whatever I'm cooking because I just really like the flavor. I like the taste of it. And the last two things I purchased was sweet basil or basil, however you pronounce it. And it says this is the French version of it. I don't know the difference. And so I use this <laughs> in smoked paprika Spanish style. I use this when I make like tuna macaroni salads and sometimes for coloring and a slight smoke flavor to chicken or to um, if I'm making ribs or something like that. And in the meantime, they had another sale. A $40 gift card was $30. And so I purchased a $40, $40 gift card for $30. But all this stuff I just showed you was less than $40. And so I still have $10 on the $50 gift card. And I have the new $40 gift card that I purchased. And when you see sales like that for gift cards, go ahead and get them. Especially if it's a good deal and it's a place that you normally shop at. And then when they have a sale or something you really like, like these were a dollar or buy one, get one free or something like that, then you can use your gift card. And so you're saving even more. You're saving because you purchased a gift card on a discount and you're saving because of items you normally use or on sale. So that's something to think about. And also they had a sample of cracked rosemary. I'm not what I call a cook cook. And so I don't use a lot of different spices and things. And when I see recipes that are like, half a teaspoon of this half a teaspoon of that i'm like i'm not going to the store and buying 20 spices just use like a little teaspoon or whatever <laughs> and so i i think i'm going to find someone who really cooks and i'm going to send this to them and also in a previous purchase they sent me a sample of french thyme 
And so that's just in my cabinet, just feeling lonely and unused and unwanted. And so I think I'm going to send that one and this one to someone that I know who actually cooks and bakes on a regular basis. And so that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. You will see me in the next one. And let me know, you know, if, if you were aware of certain sales and bundles that the websites were having. And if you did, if you purchased something and also if you um, shop online at Penzi's or somewhere else, you know, do, do you take advantage of the sales that they have? And so that is it for this video. You'll see me in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.